As far as general anesthesia goes, um, it's a, it's a, it, where there are several tools that we use to, in order to get treatment done. And I'll jump straight to general anesthesia. With general anesthesia, the person or the child is completely asleep and unaware of anything that's going on. It's the same type of anesthetic that would be used if you were having a, any other type of surgery, tonsillectomy uh, or anything else. Um, there are several different ways of doing it, and I can kind of explain those. Um, but general anesthesia is utilized in a situation where we, we have a young child who has a fair amount of work or a lot of work that needs to be done. It could be in a situation where we have a child who has high anxiety that really, it's just better off to get through the whole thing without them having to be aware or of any of the procedures that are being done. Uh, most of the kids that we do general anesthesia or use general anesthesia on are going to be probably under the age of five, probably four even and three, uh, more times than not. Um, and it's usually in a situation where we have quite extensive type of dentistry to do. In terms of the types of anesthesia, we, we offer services uh, in office anesthesia and at the hospital. For most people, uh, we're talking about pricing, and I try not to... I try not to talk about a whole lot about pricing, but but as a parent myself, this is I put myself in your shoes each and every day. But if we're going to be talking about general anesthesia in the hospital, we have to look at what our medical deductible is because we're using medical insurance to, to pay for at least the hospital and the anesthesia portion. Um, most people today, their medical deductible is pretty high. Um, it, if we're in a situation where it's low or it's been paid for by the year, then the hospital is probably a good source of a place to go to do the dentistry. And we in my office use two facilities to do uh, dental procedures under general anesthesia. Um, the child is completely intubated, um, they're asleep, and then when we're done, the, in, the, the tube comes out, the kids head off to the recovery room, and usually within about an hour or so, we're on our way home with no memory, no recollection of any of the type of treatment that's been done. If we do it in the dental office setting, which is really nice, then we have a set fee or the anesthesiologist has a set fee that's, that's charged. They will help, in a sense, by helping you to file this, this charge to the medical insurance for the deductible. But again, in most cases, this fee that they charge is less than most people's deductible. Uh, it's the same type of anesthesia that's used. Um, I, I personally do this with my child if, if it came down to it because the anesthesiologist that we use in the dental office is amazing, does a great job, feel very safe. Um, it just makes it a much more non-threatening environment. It, it allows the parents the ability to go back with their child, which not unlike at the hospital that you aren't able to do. Um, but you're able to go back with your child, and instead of getting an injection, they're, they're, they uh, breathe inhalation gas to fall asleep. And once they're asleep, then they're able to start the IV. Uh, then they'll put a little tube in, just like at the hospital, and then we'll slide in and do our dentistry. The tube comes out when we're done. The IV comes out before they're awake, and usually in about 20 minutes or so, they're on their way home, very awake. The anesthetic that they use is very short-acting and lasting, so the recovery time is really, really fast.